everyone. Uh, today I'll be doing a quick video on products that I cannot live without. And these are things that I use pretty much every day. Um, there are other things that I use all the time as well, uh, but I wanted to keep it pretty quick, so I've got some products to show you. Okay, um, first of all, I use on my face every day Dr. Brandt Pores No More. Now, I don't generally have any problems with my skin. I get a couple of blemishes every now and then, but my pores are something that I hate, like absolutely hate. So I use this every day and it conceals my pores, it adds moisture, so it's a perfect product for someone with oily skin. Next I have the Beauty Blender. Now a lot of people have seen this around, I haven't seen many uh, tutorials with it, but um, I think it's great. I think it is rival of an airbrush. So I use a sponge every morning to apply my makeup. It does absorb a lot of product, but I like the effect that I get with it. So um, it's really it's really quite soft. Uh, you can use the larger side for larger areas and then the smaller side for um, concealing under the eyes and on the eyelids and things like that. Um, you can also use this with powder. I find this really good for dispersing concealer because you don't get that really obvious concealer mark. Next, I absolutely love, as a base, Bare Study Paint Pot. It's got just enough shimmer in it, so it's really quite pretty, especially under, um, under more shimmery eyeshadows. Now, in my kit, I usually use Painterly on people, mostly because um, you can't use the shimmer base on everyone because not everybody likes it. So Painterly is good for that as well. And if I'm wearing matte eyeshadows, I'll use Painterly. Um, okay, next I have Dr. Lip. Um, this is a medical grade lanolin uh, for the lips. It's a great treatment. I use it overnight and my, I usually get pretty chapped lips because I breathe through my mouth at night, but um, this gets rid of that. It's, it's really quite good. Next I have Prescriptive Moonbeam Glosses. Um, these are the most shimmery, pretty glosses I have ever seen. They are also really good for people who aren't sure what colour gloss they should wear because they come in different colours recommended for different skin tones. So this one's for a red orange, so someone who's got more of a tan, but I wear it anyway, and then for red, so somebody who's got more of a ready pink base. So um, these are really quite pretty. Next is the Kevin Aucoin Brow Pencil. Now it's got a, I don't know if you can see that, it's got a really thin lead, um, so it's great for drawing on thin lines and I'm pedantic about my brows. I have quite thick brows but they're quite sparse so this is really good for filling in the filling in the spaces. Then on the end it's got a comb so you can um, blend out the colour really well and comb the brows into place. And then I use a brow gel over the top just to make sure they sit properly. Also, the Kevin Aucoin Mascara. Now this actually wraps a tube around your lashes and they come off in little tubes. So rather than painting the lashes and damaging it, it wraps itself around the lashes. And they come in volumizing, which is with this brush here, and the curling which is with the thicker brush. Now I find that this one adds a lot of length to the lashes as well, which is good because I have very, very short lashes. <laughs> Next are NARS, NARS blushes. I can't go without these, but typically most people, especially with my skin tone, go for orgasm. Um, I personally like Exhibit A, which is this bright, bright red red colour. It's it's just a beautiful flush. Um, I don't know if you can see on there, but it's still got the hatch marks there, but I've used it about two dozen times. Um, all you need to do is just dip the brush in there and put it on the... You don't even need very much product. And then Angelica blush. 
Now this is really pretty if I'm doing a really soft look, um, but typically I go for the Exhibit A. And I always layer my blush over um, either the NARS Multiple in Orgasm, which is this one here. Now this is just like Orgasm Blush, except it's in a stick form. So you can use that on the eyes, lips and cheeks. I really like it under a clear gloss as well. Um, but if you are using it on the eyes, I recommend setting it with a powder um, because they can crease. Next, there is some Bart's. Now that's just a really natural taupey colour. Um, I use this one for contouring mostly and on my eyes then I put a powder over the top. And then my favourite is Copacabana. Now that's a really pretty shimmery highlight colour. And then if I'm not using the multiple underneath my blush, I'll use the Smashbox, Smashbox Oglow. Now I can use this on its own just when I'm wearing some foundation and mascara and, um, or either put blush over the top. Um, it gives it says that it changes colour with everybody's skin tone, but um, I find that it comes out this really bright pink on everyone, <laughs> like that. But it's okay for me because I really like those bright pink colours. The next thing I can't live without has got to be everyone's favourite, my brushes. Um, these are my professional ones. Uh, I use these on clients most of the time, but I do have my personal use ones as well, which are generally the same ones, just a few less. If I need anything else, I go to my belt and grab them out. Um, my favourite is the Stila Number no. 10 brush. This is the thinnest angle brush you will ever find. It is great for doing eyeliner on the top and just getting it right in next to the lashes. That one is one of my favourites at the moment, along with the Kevin Buff brush, because um, occasionally I use minerals and then I can apply the blush with this as well, and it gives a really nice natural flush. And I think that's all. So I hope you like this video, and I'll see you later. Bye. Read my lips, I'm into you, I'm into you, can't resist, you're so high, give me into the shade, despite that song, you creep into it, you